aquariast, uh, marine hobbyists out there. Uh, this is just a quick tip on how to rejuvenate activated carbon. Been doing this for the last eight years with no ill effects. Uh, so guys, girls, do not throw your activated carbon away. Uh, you can make use of a further three or four times, maybe five times, uh, depending. So this is my method to rejuvenate uh, activated carbon to reuse for a further four or five, <coughs> even more times. Uh, so my steps are to just make sure it's all dried up first, okay? Uh, ask permission for from your wife uh, to use one of her saucepans. Uh, this she allowed me to use. So all I'm doing is heating the pan up and throwing the activated carbon inside the pan. So the idea now is to remove um, the surface area of the pores of the activated carbon, uh, any um, dirt, phosphates, old phosphates, nitrates inside there. So you're just burning off <coughs> the um, phosphates and nitrates and any other debris that may be on the activated carbon. So I'll whack it up, place the carbon into a pan, okay, and uh, let it smoke. Uh, that's the idea. If I can just fetch myself a uh, spoon, there we are, got a spoon here. Right, okay, ask permission to use your spoon as well from the wife. There we go, so you just basically stir, it, stir the activated carbon around until it starts to smoke. Uh, that is some of the um, detritus, the um, phosphates, the nitrates, whatever's inside the activated carbon being removed slowly. So the first process is number one, is to remove surface area of detritus from the carbon. Okay, just give it a good little shake back. Okay, here's where my chef skills comes in. So you, you can, there you go. So let it smoke uh, for a good uh, five minutes or so. Um, gently stir around. The last thing you're gonna do is to crush the activated carbon up. Uh, these are whole pieces. So let me um, continue with five minutes of stirring and shaking. Uh, remove, once the smoke starts to minimize, then you know the surface area of the activated carbon is being cleaned by heat. Oh, sorry about that, my finger's in the way. Just a quick, there we go. Bit more chef skills. Can you see that smoke? There we go. So now I have here just plain RO pure water, okay? Now, be careful with this process. Uh, if you want to pour this into the saucepan, bear in mind the saucepan is going to be hot. Okay, so health and safety first. Turn the gas down. Do you turn the gas down, otherwise it's all going to bubbling up. So you can see, still see some smoke there, okay? I've got rid of most of the smoke. Uh, that is the um, detritus and other bits and pieces that's within the activated carbon being removed. Uh, which is a good thing, okay? Now you're pouring your RO water into the saucepan. Like I said, please keep safety in mind, okay? Let that boil, okay? And let it reduce. Give it a little shake. Let it reduce, okay? And once it's reduced, um, give it a little stir. I will show you. So as we can see, the water has reduced. Uh, I'm gonna give it a quick stir. Okay, uh, just to move the activated carbon around. Okay, the idea is to dry it up now. <clears throat> uh, once it's completely dried, uh, you can do another go of putting some RR water in your saucepan, the same amount. Uh, so you get a double cleanup uh, with the activated carbon. Uh, remember, safety, safety, safety. So as you can see, you can hear a sizzle and the water has been reduced. Uh, so at this point, 
uh, the steam is actually removing everything within the activated carbon. Um, like I said, just keep on stirring it, just keep on stirring it. Uh, the idea is to, like I said, remove everything that's within the activated carbon. Um, steam is being released now, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, this is the first process. Uh, I'm going to be doing a second process uh, of putting RO water in the same saucepan. As you can see on the, the perimeter of the saucepan, all the white residue, okay? That's come out of the activated carbon, as you can see. Which is all good, okay? So on the second round, I'm going to be placing the activated carbon in a, uh, a bucket uh, and remove all this residue, uh, clean the saucepan, and then give it a round two of uh, boiling the activated carbon in RO water. Okay, so it's dry enough, okay, but not completely dry, because if there's still some steam coming out of it, it will not be ready. So what I'm gonna do is uh, place the activated carbon in a plate. Again, ask your missus if it's okay to use her plates. Uh, let's get this cut carefully. and there's a white residue uh, that's come out of the activated carbon. So I'm gonna give this a quick wash and do another process of RO water boiling within this Here we pan. go. Next step is to obviously, uh, you can see the pan is nice and clean, uh, ready for the second step of uh, RO water and activated carbon. Um, so let's uh, grab this plate, place it into the pan. Here we go, so give it a quick stir, shake, shake it around as much as possible. Uh, like I said, uh, previously the idea is to remove as much steam as possible. And whilst that steam is being removed from the activated carbon, uh, it's also removing uh, all that dirt, detritus, phosphate nitrates within the activated carbon. So you're basically just using high heat to remove and clean the activated carbon. Okay, so this is the second process. Again, I'm gonna place our water inside here. As you can see, it's gonna bubble up. There we are. Okay, now we're gonna give it another boil. Uh, so this is round two, let it reduce and um, I'll show you the next stage. So in the bubbling process, as you can see, um, just keep it stirring, keep, keep it stirred, keep it moved. Occasionally you may find that activated carbon may stick on the pan. Uh, so that's the idea of just keeping it moving. Okay, at this point, as you can see, uh, the activated carbon has lost all its shine, which is a good thing because you removed all the water from the activated carbon, okay? But if you see any activated carbon that's turning white, you know that you're gonna be overdoing it, okay? So that means that you need to ease off the gas, okay? Because you don't wanna burn it, okay? So that is my second round. And I'm going to do a third round by putting a little bit more RO water inside the pan. This time just slightly a little bit, just to steam it up a bit more. So that I can remove that little bit more detritus from there. Again, you must keep on moving the activated carbon. It's so important, you don't want it to burn. The moral of this idea is to remove everything within the activated carbon so that you can reuse it. Uh, you can reuse it for a further five more times, um, but the idea of this process is to remove as much debris and dirt within the activated carbon as you can. 
to okay, make so it even last even longer. Final stage, okay? I've taken the activated carbon uh, and the pan uh, off the heat. Uh, it's uh, placed here. Um, the idea is to let it cool down first, okay? Once it's cooled down, and then we can test it out, okay? So here is uh, activated carbon, which is used. Uh, I've just pulled it out of my sump, uh, just this second here. And uh, as you can see, it's got a glossy, I don't know if you can see it, just get the camera on it. No, nope, yeah, you can just about see it. It's got a glossy uh, surface to it because it's just been pulled out of uh, the aquarium water and the ready to be used has got a matte finish on it. That tells me that there's nothing moisture, sorry, there's no moisture or anything within this activated carbon. Uh, as, you, as, you, as you well know, that activated carbon is very porous uh, and that's what clears up your water. So basically what activated carbon does in your aquarium is it clears the water. Uh, you'll probably realize that, you know, if you don't do any water changes or anything like that, you will get some kind of yellowish, yellowing in the water. Uh, I, I like to keep my uh, aquarium water as clear as possible by using activated carbon. Uh, so we'll do a tester. So just come out the pan, just this minute. Okay, used, uh, refreshed. Okay, so let's give it a go. I have aquarium water here. Okay, so we'll get the used one. Okay, and we'll put it in the uh, aquarium water and give that a go and have a look at results. Uh, naturally, there's nothing going on there because it's used. I don't know if you can see it, so I can zoom in. Okay, that's the active, activate carbon. Okay, nothing going on because that's been used. So we'll go to the second stage, okay, which is the new one, which has been cleaned out, cooled down. It's a bit too much there. We'll put it into the cup here. Right, effectively, this should bubble up. Obviously, it's, there we are. That's the sign of activated carbon just being rejuvenated and ready to reuse. There you go. Uh, slowly but surely, each granule will drop Okay, and start fizzing up. Look at that. There we go. So I hope this video has inspired you uh, on activate carbon and how to reuse it. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe. There's many more tricks and tips on looking after your aquarium uh, the most economical way possible. And uh, plenty of money saving tips in future videos. Uh, like and please subscribe. Thanks for watching.